What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and I love a solid design portfolio, but they can be a ton of work. You gotta design it and develop it and maintain it and code it and publish it. Ugh, it could be a lot of work. And so today, I'm gonna be taking a look at Adobe Portfolio, which is an online platform that allows you to take your Behance portfolio in a few simple clicks of the mouse, turn it into a custom portfolio with a custom domain and custom style and all the functionality you would want and be looking for out of a custom portfolio. Let's take a look at Adobe Portfolio and see what it offers. All right, let's start using Adobe Portfolio and building something out. Um, I am at Behance.net and I'm at my own personal Behance portfolio. If you have a Creative Cloud membership of any kind, you should not only see the ability to edit your portfolio, which would be your Behance portfolio, but this button to edit your Adobe portfolio. Let's click on it and see what happens. It takes us to portfolio.adobe.com and it allows us to, let's just go back to the start. It should take us to something like this, to portfolio adobe.com and we have the ability to edit our sites again I'm logged in um, I can create a new site and it's gonna ask me what kind of site I want do I want a full portfolio or do I just want maybe something like a welcome page um, and it's really cool it gives us kind of some Squarespace esque like templates to begin from on both either the welcome page or the portfolio page. It's telling us, uh, I mean, really quickly, we just kind of see that uh, not only are we gonna have information, but we're gonna have, uh, like, it's gonna be mobile. It's gonna be mobile friendly as well. So preview and pick a theme, don't worry, you can change it at any time, which is cool because I guess what it's saying is that Behance is gonna kind of act like the content management system right off the bat. And then later on, you will be able to add things to it and change the theme, you'll still keep all that content in the backside. So why don't we pick something like, hey, let's just pick this simple, nice portfolio that we have going on here, this Ludwig template. And I like it, it's simple, it's dark, it gets right to the work, it has my name at the top. And you scroll down on each one of these, we click on one and we see the work in greater detail. Hey, this is perfect. Uh, I like something like this. We can even preview it in tablet mode, phone mode, and uh, look, we can see, while we're in this preview kind of screen, we can see the other the other templates and see if we like those a little bit more. I'm not, not really a fan of that one. I like Ludwig. Um, this one's kind of nice as well, because for me it kind of gets to the work quickly. Let's go back. I like, I like that one we had picked out. Let's use that one and let's use this theme. Hitting that big blue button of use this theme in the top right hand corner says, hey, one moment please, we're creating your site. And like that, I have an initial portfolio created. Okay, um, let's see. So it's, put, it's dropped my name in the middle. It's given me a couple of pages, like the work page, which is currently active. So I'm guessing that's the page that I'm on, but it also has a contact page, okay? So we can click into any one of these pages. And again, keep in mind, we are in the editor right now. You can see because we have the um, the left hand bar open on the left hand side. Um, this shows us that this is the editor view, right? Um, okay, and so hey, here's the title. That title matches up, fitness and health iOS app concept. That matches up with what's on my Behance. It's literally just the title of the project when I created it, okay? Um, so that's pretty cool. We can click on pages and we can go back to home just by navigating around there. So opening pages allows us to navigate around. If we want to kind of navigate or, or, or arrange our work in a way that's different than our Behance portfolio. Like, so currently we have this fitness app, the chocolate, and this other uh, interface project I did. You can see it in that order. We want to customize that. We can move these around by just dragging and dropping. And I think we can even turn them on or off in case we don't want to display those. So let's say, you know, I really just want to show interface stuff. This chocolate bar is not vibing with me as an interface designer. I can turn it off and just kind of hide it. It's still there. Later on, I could turn it back on. And I even have some options here by right clicking, or excuse me, just left clicking on the gear. I can edit the title page and the URL. I can duplicate the page, add a page password. So it's like password protected. I can hide it in the navigation. I can view the page or even set things as the homepage. That's interesting. Okay, I can delete the page as well. 
Um, so here's kind of like the work page and then all the pieces of work inside. I like how uh, Behance and Adobe Portfolio kind of does this for us. It's almost like it's showing all the content inside and we have direct access to the content. It's calling it a collection, right? A collection of work. And we also have the contact page over there. So that's pretty slick. Let's preview the site and see how it would actually look. And I mean, it's really smooth. We have a back to top. We can click on any of the individual projects. It just kind of like takes us right into it. We can scroll down. And again, we have like just the images that I've posted um, inside of my project, but it gives us a, you may like this also. So we can go to like the next project, kind of keep cruising and keep checking out those pieces. This really behooves of somebody who wants to fill each of their portfolio pieces out um, in depth and add a lot more content to them. So let's go back and check out this draft that we have here. We're going to edit this site. You can see you can make multiple sites. Um, so that's pretty cool. So let's click back inside of one and let's talk about editing this information. Here's the page container. We can change the size of the page container, right? Down to like maybe 37% or 100%. Do we want to add a left and a right margin? That's going to automatically change the container size. Um, what's the max width? Maybe 1400 we think is a little too much. Let's change it to 1200. And do we want a little bit more top kind of margin or bottom margin? Okay, pretty cool. So that's just the container itself. What about the image? We can actually click on the image. If we reorder the image, we can add alt text and links. So if we want to take this out somewhere, we can add a caption or replace the image. And we're doing it right here, not necessarily inside of our Behance portfolio. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's do background colors and font. All of this is, is editable. So even though the color scheme was dark before, we could change it to light and now we can preview the site and it is, should be light colored. What if we go back to our homepage? It also is now light colored. So we're making kind of like large changes. Let's go back to editing the site. Um, we were making large changes to the entirety of the project. So let's click again on the image and uh, boy, oh boy, what else? Oh, background colors and fonts. Yeah, so let's go back to dark. We can change the font that we're using. I really do like Futura a lot. Let's use that one instead. And the background, if we want an image, we can do that, but we can also include a background color. Um, so you could have maybe a background image with the color. Now these are site-wide. See how it says site-wide edits you're making? Here's the website container, site-wide kind of changes you're making. Here's the navigation. So the navigation container, do we want a background image, page titles, collection title, sub-page titles. Like if we turn that on, there's all of the work that's inside of those sub-pages, links and social icons. Okay, so we can play with that. Let's go all around. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, let's talk about integrations. Uh, we have, we could integrate Adobe Lightroom. Let's go, ooh, settings. We have all sorts of settings here. Analytics, search optimization. I can change the favicon. This is stuff, I mean, really modifying it and turning it into a website, right? What does the contact page look like? Let's go over to contact. Simple contact form, hey, contact, name, email, and message. Um, okay, again, like when you're in preview, you can see it in all the different resolutions. So if we wanna see it in mobile, you can see it has a working mobile navigation. All that stuff it works really, really good. Um, let's talk about publishing this site, because let's say I really dig it, I'm into everything, maybe I wanna purchase do a domain, I can connect my domain. I, I don't wanna do this, but it would be as simple as connecting a domain um, um, that I own like somewhere else or purchasing a domain and that's gonna purchase it through Namecheap. So that's kind of a thing. I have a site subdomain, all that good stuff. Um, okay, that seems pretty good. If I wanted to publish a site, I just hit the green button of publishing a site. One moment it says, and here we have our URL. Now I could literally just send this to a client as the URL for my portfolio. It, you know, it's kind of a janky URL, but maybe it's a little bit better than my Behance. Um, but I know deep down in my heart, if I wanted to, that all I'd have to do is set up my site with a custom domain 
and uh, maybe I could change this like uh, like Showalter at oh look the subdomain was successfully done Showalter at dot myportfolio.com can we can we do that now does this subdomain work anymore it doesn't right because we updated let's publish the site again we should get a better URL it's https showalter.myportfolio.com that's a little bit better that's a little less janky than what it was before so okay we can customize it that's cool and then we can also give it a custom domain there's lots of settings for um, the content style the headers everything is editable and again just because we have stuff in our um, just because we have stuff here doesn't mean we can't add more stuff to it, right? Um, so again, we can add a page right here without actually adding it in our Behance portfolio. We can add a Lightroom album. So everything's just heavily integrated. It's really, really nice. Uh, global styles, back to top. Do we need a masthead? Ooh, okay. Maybe we could put a big masthead up there, like something like that. If we don't want it, that's fine also. Um, inside of our masthead, we have options. Oh, based on the content. Adjust it based on the content, so that's nice. Um, make it unique to this page. Include a background color. If we wanted to mix it up and make it really ugly with red or something, we could do that. That's pretty cool. Update live site, boom. It's as simple as that to update your live site. So, pretty cool. Now we should be able to go back and refresh and we have something that's updated. Hey, scroll down to see more. Everything looks really good. Hey, that's, I feel like it's easy to make a portfolio if you don't have one, as long as you have an Adobe Creative Cloud subscription, it's a good option. And first, you know, if you buy a domain for a couple bucks a month or a year or whatever, you could have a custom domain rock in this thing. It's as easy as probably just connecting the name servers, making that whole thing happen. I don't know what else to say besides it's pretty rad, pretty fun, pretty cool. That's Adobe Portfolio. Well, that's it. That's how simple Adobe Portfolio can be. Just a few clicks of the button, setting up a theme and connecting it to your custom domain and you have your very own custom portfolio on the web like that. What do you think of Adobe Portfolio? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development and portfolios just like this one. So maybe hit that subscribe button and that little bell notification icon so you know when another video like this one comes out. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things. Hope you're making amazing things. And I hope you're putting your best foot forward with a solid portfolio. We'll see you in the next one.